Red Brick Media. High quality CDs, DVDs, lectures, khutbah, conferences and Quran recitations. All revenue generated supports our dawah work. Supported by visiting our store. You can now purchase directly from our site www.redbrickmedia.co.uk أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته A just ruler and a young man who was brought up who grows worshipping Allah عز وجل are among the two that are being or that will be shaded in the shade of Allah on the day of judgment. May Allah make me and you among them. The third one is a man whose heart is attached in the masjids, in the mosques. And what is meant by his heart attached? Definitely this is not something where you have a person's heart coming out and then you find it in the masjid. This is a figure of speech, which means that the man prays in the masjid, he goes out and he is homesick. He feels homesick. He would not find the tranquility and the peace of mind until he goes back to the masjid and pray again. We know that the Prophet told us والسلام, that the best spots on earth is the masajid. So the best area of land on earth is the masjid, the mosque, where, we're, where people pray. The Prophet encouraged us والسلام, to attend the masjids, not only for prayer, but even to learn the Qur'an. And he told us that if you go and learn two ayahs of the Qur'an or three ayahs in the masjid, that is far greater and much better than if you go and buy camels of the best kinds and sell them and trade of them. The Prophet والسلام, taught us how to deal with the masjid. He taught us the etiquettes of being in a masjid and how to clean them and how to keep them in the best of form. And he told us that those who await prayer after a prayer, then they are similar to those who are in the ribat those who are on guard in an army between the disbelievers and the Muslims, protecting the Muslims. So if I pray Maghrib, it's an hour and a half until Isha. If I wait in the masjid, then I am being rewarded as if I was on the battlefield. The Prophet والسلام, also told us that in the masjid, where this man's heart is attached is the quality of a believer. And with it, we know the difference between Islam and hypocrisy. Allah tells us in the Quran that those who are lazy to pray in the masjid, though they pray, that they are hypocrites. Those who, when they go to pray in the masjid, they feel this laziness in them the Prophet Allah told, them that, told us that they are hypocrites. What about those who do not pray at all? The Prophet was this close والسلام, to going to their houses and burning it to the ground. In the Sahih, the Prophet says, والسلام, I was almost this close from instructing and ordering one of my followers to give adhan and to lead the prayer with the Muslims. And while he's praying, I would leave with men and wood for fire to the places, to the houses of the people who did not attend the congregation with that man so that I would burn their houses to the ground. Why didn't you do that, O Prophet of Allah? The Prophet said, had it not been for the women and children who were not obliged to pray in the masjid, had it not been for the women and children, I would have done that. But because these houses had women and children in them, I didn't burn it to the ground. So the masjid has great role and importance in Islam. In the masjid, scholars graduated 
in the masjid armies were dispatched in the masjid the masjid had the role of a university a municipality it everything happened in the masjid nowadays unfortunately the masjid has been sidelined the masjid has been ignored people when they come to pray with the congregation when the imam says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah they jump and they almost reach the gates of the masjid assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah they are already in their cars people are so agitated when they are in the masjid they just want the, the salah to be called and they want to leave the masjid as soon as possible just to get a breather this one who would be shaded in the shade of Allah Azza wa Jal, does not feel this way. His heart is attached to the masjid and he loves to stay in the masjid. Are you like him? I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that he makes me and you among those who would be shaded in his shade on the day of judgment. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم